Hey, what's up, people? Today I'm going to show you on how to do a crowned a barrel roll mohawk protective style with a bang. Welcome, guys. All right, welcome, guys, and uh, kindly support my channel by sharing my work. Subscribe, like, and comment positively. So, guys, uh, just to highlight on what I'm, uh, I'm about to do, I have been getting requests from my followers about the bangs. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to do a style which consists of a bang. That is, I'm going to do a style that consists of a bang. And uh, bangs, guys, as we indicated earlier, I had done a style about the bangs some time back. Guys, you can revisit my channel. Bangs are styles which cut across the forehand. Guys, the bangs are used to, to enhance beauty as well as uh, bringing that uh, young version into our looks and uh, they also implicate uh, that sense of feminine as well as disguising the NG ringos at the forehand and another way guys bangs are usually used to disguise uh, those small forehands as well as disguising those large forehands by doing so guys if you have a small forehand you try to push your bangs a little bit bang a, a, a little bit uh, back just to 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 pull uh, behind your your face and uh, disguise the small forefront and uh, alternatively guys uh, when the forehand is a little bit longer you try to pull the bangs a little bit forward just to disguise the large forehead. Welcome guys, as I show you on how to go about it. So, this way to go about it, guys. Remember my bangs will consist of two strands. That way. And my first bang, guys, will be starting at this level, just past the hack of the brows. And at this level where the brows are ending. That's how you combine beauty, guys. Remember, guys, I'm, I'm not going to use rubber bands. As usual guys we are going to tuck in the handy tip and I'm going to show you on how to do that. Right. After reaching this level, guys, you realize that uh, we had left out a uh, loop here. So you are just going to put our crochet through the hook, hook the uh, ending tip. Then I'm gonna pull the ending tip inside this bang. That way, guys. That way. that way guys then you can adjust your your bang for manageability purpose that way you can have a look let's switch to another bang Kindly keep on subscribing guys, share my work, comment positively if you feel that uh, I'm impacting the community in the right way. 
Remember, this is the only way you can support my work, guys, by sharing. That's how you do the bangs, guys, just to enhance beauty on whatever style you are giving at the back. As well as giving that girlish look on your client's face. Then I'm gonna pull the tip inside here, guys. Instead of using rubber bands, I've never seen anybody doing this, guys, but uh, I hope you can adapt this, guys. I just hope and trust that uh, you'll find it simple. You see? Right, guys, now we are through with our bang. You can have a look on how our bang is cutting across the forehand. So now we are going to hunt to do some ornamentation, guys, by hunting these uh, African traditional shells, just to bring out that African touch in our style. So I'm going to hunt some shells here. All right, guys, now I'm, I'm through with my bang. Now I'm going to do the mohawk protective style. And our mohawk protective style will be comprising of barrel roll. So join me, guys, as I'll show you on how to go about it. Guys, we are going to do a simple barrel at the back. Then we are going to do some multiple barrels at the crown area, now where we are going to do our finishing kick. So join me guys as we kick off this. So the, the way to go about it, that way. To pick strands guys and wrap them around like that. Remember guys, this is the beginning of the formation of the single barrel. That's how you kick off your style, guys. Very quite simple. It might tend to be tricky to our beginners. But uh, since I'm doing it at a slower rate, guys, I hope you can cope with me. Remember, this is a single barrel, guys. We are forming a single barrel at the back. And this is the way to go about it, guys. You pick strands one after the other. Pass them underneath the barrel for me. Then let them come from underneath and wrap them around once, guys, or twice if the lock strands, the volume, if the volume of the lock strands is wanting. Just to ramble it further, guys, on that, Out of picking the strand, guys, and letting it pass underneath the, the barrel, you might let it go and uh, around once or twice, depending on the volume of the log strands. If the log strands are view, that is, that is, guys, if the volume of the log strands is wanting. You'll find yourself going multiple times around the 
the barrel. But if you have many strands, guys, you will go once just to accommodate such strands to the formation of the barrel. Alright guys, this is my single barrel, you can have a look or not, it has come out. Now I'm going to attach the remaining strands at the front to the barrel. Alright guys, now we have attached the remaining strands to the, to the barrel here. Yeah. Now we are going to make some, you know, fine barrels which now we are going to to use just to make the the crown look at the at this front area guys Alright guys, this is my first barrel and if you don't know how to do the barrel rolls, you can go back on my channel and uh, have a look on how to do the same. So, we are going to do uh, this kind of barrels or this part. Alright guys, now we are through with our barrel rolls and uh, as I have just indicated there before, if you don't know how to do this guys, I've given many tutorials on my channel about barrel rolls, so you can just revisit my channel and uh, cross-check that, guys. Now I'm going to show you now to mold these barrel strands at the crown area to come up with a style that is pleasing as well as being attractive. Now, I have a, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 barrel roll strands. Now I want to manage these strands by picking four, then I will pick four at this side, then three, and then three. You see that formulation? Now by doing so guys, I think I also showed you on how to do a four braid strand on my channel there before. So we are going to do a four braid strand here. By picking this strand here, you pick the first strand, go under the, the second strand, then over the, the second strand from the right, then under the last strand from the right area. Then you start again at this left side, pick strand here, go under, over, and then under the last one. Hunter over, then under the last one. That way, guys. Then you secure at the at the end. I'm going to use yarn, guys. I always use yarn because it gives good results. It's more firm than the rubber bands. Alright guys, now we are going to do a finishing kick by molding together these sections and by doing so guys you pick section after the other and we are going to start with the sections at the bottom part and uh, whenever you pick this section guys don't just bring it like this eh? the way it is, you just tilt it the other way around eh? so that it can, it can stabilize on the scalp surface that way guys so that it can it can have that grip on the on the skull. That way you'll find out that uh, your style doesn't doesn't uh, get uplifted from the scalp side. Then I'm going to secure. Going to secure the two sections together using yarn. That way. 
So now guys, we are going to pick the remaining sections. This section here. And then fold it over so that you can tuck in the tip. That way. We are going to secure it here as usual. Now let's pick the final section, fold it. The reason why we are folding this section guys, we want to disguise the hunting tips here because they have that hunkly look. So we are going to insert them inside, inside our style. That way, you see. As usual guys, now we are going to secure, just to reinforce our style. So guys, you can have a look on our style that has taken shape. Just to add some light on our style, you are going to do some ornamentations. Since we have no color on our, on our style, guys, we need to do some ornamentation just to highlight where need to be. Remember guys, this is just to create the point of emphasis in our style. I hope you can remember that uh, sometime back on my channel, I highlighted the principles of hair styling, hair design that is and the elements that govern hair styling. And it's wow guys, this is my final outcome. You can have a look now my bun here, that is the crown area, the barrel roll, the mohawk protective style, how it has come out. With the ornamentation guys trying to chip in some light in my style as well as creating that point of empathy. Have a look on our bank guys. It's a nice look guys. You can see the ornamentation guys. We have decorated our bank using these traditional, you know, shells which now brings chips in that African culture as well as now giving our style uh, another cute perspective by bringing that feminine look you can go around guys as you have a look our complete style how it has come out guys and it's a nice look guys it's wow it's very attractive style guys that you can walk around with it's a charming style guys for weddings you can do this style on a picnic you can as well, guys, wear this style in informal sectors as well as formal sectors. So I challenge you guys, I know you can do better. So guys, just do this or you can as well wear this style. All right, guys, I want to thank you for finding time to learn with me. You can have a look on our outcome as just uh, taken shape. So guys, this is the channel where we usually simplify, you know, those difficult styles and make them, you know, uh, easy styles for beginners. So guys, I want to uh, request you to subscribe on my channel, like my work, comment, and keep on sharing. Welcome, guys.